All right, continuing with our medical gas series, how to schedule medical gas families in Revit. This is part two. If you haven't watched part one, go ahead and watch it, come back. Long story short, we learn how to create zone valve boxes, how to modify them, alarm panels, medical gas outlets, and we put it all together, two videos, part one and part two of piping medical families. Then we started tagging our families. And then in the last video, part one of medical gas schedules, we created a bunch of medical share parameters so that we could start populating our schedules. I remind you again, ignore all the locations and flows that you see in this series. This is just a quick example so that you understand how the families work. If you really want to learn about placing of medical gas devices and sizing, etc., then you can scan the QR code that you see on screen and we can get together. Let's get started. Hi everyone, this is Alex with BIM It Up, where we help you with professional training and coaching in mechanical, electrical, plumbing, fire protection systems, and Autodesk platforms like Revit and AutoCAD MEP. Let's get started. Let's go ahead and fill up the rest of the zone valve boxes. Let's go back to our floor plan. Oh, and then this guy here we haven't done. This is the three gas zone valve box. But let's go to the other zone valve box so we can grab the parameters. And we come here to our tools, parameter scheduler. We get this med gas zone valve box. I'm going to delete this template because I'm going to create a new one based on the current document. So I'm not going to include this, but I'm going to include everything else. I'm going to save this as a parameter template, and this one's going to be AJS Med Gas Zone Valve Box. Now we can close out of here. Now we open up our zone valve box with three gases. We can now add those parameters. So let's go to RF Tools, Parameter Scheduler. So a zone valve box, and now I add all those, and then I apply parameters to family. And now I should have that available. Let's check, create. There you go, here are all my parameters. So let's go one by one. We said that the half, half, half is going to be one, one, one. We said that we're going to keep all the flows at one by default. Then three quarter inches is two, two, two. Then one inch was going to be three, three, three. Then one and a quarter inches is going to be four, four, four. And then one and a half is going to be five, five, five. And that's it. We're set with this one. And now just so that we don't forget, let's do the four gas. So here, one thing we should do is to identify each equipment by its description so that we can filter by zone valve box only. So, but first we have to fill this zone valve boxes with the parameter zone valve box. So let's go ahead and, so let's see this one. I think we already changed zone valve box. So that's good. This one here. So let's see this one here. I already have it as zone valve box. See this one here, zone valve box. And notice that I have to check one per family. And that's why I'm checking the family itself. But if I go to edit type, all the types should have zone valve box already. So if I click here, zone valve box, zone valve box, because this is a type parameter, not an instance parameter. I'm just gonna cancel out of here. So this already has zone valve box. How about this one? 
Zomba box, that's good. How about this other two? This is the same one as the previous one, so it shouldn't be a problem. So Zomba box and Zomba box, let's see. Yeah. And now that they all have Zomba box, if I come here, see all the Zomba box already say Zomba box. Let's fill up the alarm panels. So even without having filled up the alarm panels, I can come here to my schedule and then I can filter by device type, medical gas device type, and then the parameter equals zone valve box. Then that way anything that is not a zone valve box will not appear here. And we have it sorted out by level and we have a little space between levels but right now we have nothing on level one so it's just this plain level two so now let's go back to our floor plan to fill up everything else is the best way to do it right because i know that this for medical air has half inch so i can come here and then medical air is half inch oxygen I believe it's half inch too. We're gonna check in a second. So oxygen, half inch, and then vacuum is also half inch. So vacuum, half inch. And it has none of the other medical gases, so. There we go. Now we come to this other zone valve box. So this one here has three quarter inch medical air, three quarter inch oxygen, and one inch vacuum. So, three quarter inch medical air, three quarter inch oxygen, and one inch medical vacuum. And it has nothing else. All right. And then this one here has three quarter inch medical air, three quarter inch oxygen, and one inch medical vacuum. So, three quarter inch, three quarter inch, one inch, and that's good. So, three quarter inch, three quarter inch, one inch, and then nothing else. All right, let's see how this is looking. Very good. Seems like we have all our values in. Let's say none of these guys have val in the ceiling space. And we're missing the rooms that are being fed and the location. So let's see. This one here is fitting 233 three and 234. So 233 three and 234 and the location is nurse station 143. Then this one here is 235 and 236. Oh, and it's located in the same Nurse 143. This one we already did. And then this one is serving exam rooms 220, 221, and 222. And it's located 
in the same corridor 238. Now let's see. There you go, looking good. Now let's go to our sheet. All our IDs, the description, manufacturer, model number, the sizes for each one of them. Very good. The alarm panel that are monitoring that, whether they have sensor in the zone valve box or above ceiling. It would be nice to add a header here. So let's see if we can do that. Then we have the rooms served and the location that they're at and the level that they're at. And this can be a hidden column. Let's see if we can add that subheader to close this up. Now let's see if I remember how to do this. I think you go like that. Yeah, there you go. And then group. And then we're grouping under a header called area, alarm, pressure, sensor, location. So now when we come here, area, alarm, pressure, sensor, location, inside zone valve box or on the main above ceiling. Actually, I think it would be nicer if we have that like that. And there you have it. That's how you create your zone valve box schedule.